Today we will be discussing about the different concepts in the Unit 8 of your BA first semester course, Introduction to Economic Theory. The title of the unit is Cost of Production and Cost Curves. And this is part one of the videos. In fact, there are total three parts. And let us start with the first part. Dear learners, in the previous video, we had discussed theory of production. In this video, we shall discuss theory of cost, which is very important in understanding the theories of production. We all know cost plays an important role in taking any production decision. Thus, cost of production is the most powerful force governing the supply of a product, which also may influence the price of the commodity. A cost function is a derived function in the sense that it is derived from the production function. The relation between cost and output is known as cost function. That is, it relates the cost of production to the firm's level of output. For a better explanation of production decision and price theory, it is necessary to know the various frequently applied concepts of cost. Let us discuss these concepts. Money cost. Money costs are equal. Money costs are the total money expenses incurred by a firm for purchasing the inputs together with certain other items. The other items include wages and salaries of workers, cost of raw materials, expenditures on capital equipment, depreciation cost, rent on buildings, interest on capital invested, and borrowed, and advertisement and transportation cost, also insurance, charges, taxes, and so on. Please note the term depreciation here refers to a reduction in value that is writing down the capital value of an asset over a period of time in the company's accounts. Money costs are also called nominal cost or expenses of production. Real cost. Some elements always lies behind the money cost which cannot be explicitly measured. The efforts and sacrifices made by the capitalist to save and invest, the foregone leisure by the workers are some examples of real cost. Marshall defines such expenditures as real cost. An unpleasant work does not always carry high wages, and a pleasant work does not carry low wages. Thus, it can be said that money cost and real cost do not correspond to each other. Accounting cost and economic cost. Please note that the concept of cost as conceived by an accountant is different from the idea conceived by an economist. When an entrepreneur undertakes an act of production, he has to pay prices to the factors of production. For example, he pays wages to the workers employed, buys raw material, pays rent and interest on money borrowed, etc. All these are included in the cost of production and are terms as accounting cost. On the other hand, economic cost includes the return on capital invested by the entrepreneur himself in his own business plus the salary or wages the entrepreneur could have earned if, he serve, if, he, if the services had been employed somewhere else and the monetary reward for all factors employed by him. Thus, economic cost takes into account not only the accounting cost but also the amount the entrepreneur could have earned in the next best alternative employment. Opposite cost or alternative cost? The opposite cost of any good is the next best alternative good that is sacrificed. Since resources are scarce, they cannot be put to use simultaneously. If they are used to produce one thing, they have to be withdrawn from other uses. For example, a plot of land can be used to produce either rice or wheat and it is employed to, products, to produce rice. It means that we have sacrificed the quantity of wheat for rice. The opposite cost is the cost incurred in the production of rice instead of wheat. Sunk cost. Now another important concept in the theory of cost is the sunk cost. Sunk cost is an expenditure that has been made and cannot be recovered. For example, let us take the case of a producer who buys a specialized equipment designed for a particular purpose. 
Their equipment can be used to do only what it was originally designed for and cannot be converted for original use. It has no alternative use and therefore its opposite cost is zero. The expenditure on this equipment is called sunk cost. With this, we have come to the end of the first part of the videos on theory of cost. In the next videos, we shall discuss the nature of cost curves in the short run and in the long run. Thank you.